Welcome back. This is the final challenge, a 10-story wall. Use your mind to create a path to the entrance for the next area. Not gonna die. Commencing area four. Are you ready? This is an interesting a little more. It's a really short level. I got it. But it's quite a tricky little puzzle. It looks deceptively simple, but doesn't give you that much to work with. For the most part, building the steps up here is simple, but there's one very specific step you have to take that is not obvious, and it's, it catches me out every time, this, when every time it's in a puzzle like this. That specific step will catch me out. It's my weakness. Doesn't look like this one's going anywhere. Oops, and I fell too. Give it another shot, I think. This one's going fairly well. Hmm, maybe I can just do this. Seems to work. No! Why? No, you can't drop it. Okay, this time. So now you'll get to see the trick. Go behind. This catches me out every time. I'm not a fan of puzzles where you have to go around to some block that's hidden on the back side. But wait, what's the gold? Can't complain. Before we move on, I'd like to show you the normal version of this level. Just as a sort of demonstration of how different normal can be from hard sometimes. This is the level where it's most noticeable. It's a completely different puzzle. Right, I got it. Right, I got it. Right, I got it. You need to pull that block out and then start pushing these down until you can get the extra life. Then pull that out and you've got a nice platform. Got it. Once again, pull out a block. Pull out a block to work with and shove them together to make a nice platform. And so it repeats. Now the tricky part. We still need to push that block out to there. But don't push the block we're standing on. Oh wait, no we do actually. No. Pull, push that one out so it falls. Pull the one to the side and push that next to it. And made a path. I made it! Here I go! <laughs> anyway, let's head on up to the landing. Hey! Where is everyone? Damn it! Damn it! How dare she go to some young bastard? Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Are you the only one here? Where are the others? They're not all dead, are they? Shut up! Don't talk to me! Sorry. Everyone, I hope you're all right. Who is it? He sounds like a kid. He, he can't be, can he? Exhaustion, I sense. Sit down and rest. Oh, man. Well, 
welcome, little lamb. I see you've survived. Oh, you're doing amazingly. The next trial will be the last one on this floor. There's so much shit already. Nothing is gonna scare me off now. This is the 14th question. Which is easier on you? To be loved or to love? Uh, if I'm honest, to be loved. I see. So that's it. I'm done asking questions. Now, well, you're almost there. I'll say goodbye to you here. Only a very small number of sheep have ever reached the cathedral. In this century, you're the first. Ugh. I hear there are more holy stairs with red carpet at the top of the cathedral. Get there, but don't let go of what's important to you. If you can, then you'll be free. It's important to me. I don't know, but I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Now hurry up and take me up there. Well, I'll lead you to the next trial. Wait for me, Catherine. All that's left is the boss. I wonder what the biggest thing standing in Vincent's way is these days. This is the final area for tonight. The glowing black hole blocks suck in anything placed on top of them. Avoid stepping on them. Once you pass this area, you'll reach your final destination, the cathedral. Vincent Brooks. How do you feel? Who's there? No, 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 you're supposed to taunt them until they say they're not you, then you get to attack. You can't die here. Shadows these days. Shadow of Vincent is a bit of an interesting boss in that he never actually attacks Vincent. All he does is make his own life more difficult, which is appropriate. I shouldn't have tried to use that bomb, by the way. That's not going to work. Yeah, forget about that. Unfortunately, restarting from the checkpoint, the bomb is still lit. So I'll need to restart from the start. Do not die. This is a little secret passage I remember from normal mode. Nice to get some coins there. And then a rapid boost up here. I'll actually want to get rid of that bomb. After that, I need both of these two blocks. So make sure to bring both of them. There. That thing it makes things much easier. Scamper up here. This is slightly more tricky than it looks, I feel. You may think I'm greedy going for the coins, but you do actually need to get that block there on anyway. Unfortunately, once again, it's not going to work this time. I've misjudged something. Pause. Trying to 
avoid interacting with the bomb block at all this time, if you can. Now drag both those blocks back over. Let one fall so we can use it as a platform. Need to actually get that block as well. Like that. And now we have a platform we can use. We're going to have to use this bomb block though. Important to move quickly after you hit it. Or you'll destroy that cracked block and you won't be able to have a step up. Oh dear. This is where the level starts getting tricky. Unfortunately, stepping on the cracked blocks was a very bad idea. The thing over to the right is a black hole. Anything that steps on it, or lands on it, will be sucked in. In Vincent's case, that means death. Be a bit more careful not to step on the cracked blocks this time. Unfortunately, I've managed to strand myself. Right, one more try. We need to tow this over so that it lines up with the other spike block that we'll need to get up to the next level. However, we've not got an easy way of aligning that spike block with the next one. We need it one more to the right, but the ice puts it in the black hole and now we're stuck. Give it another shot. The trick is going to be to come over, bring this over here, and pull out a nice block. That'll make a place for the spikes to stop when we push them. Like so. It doesn't end up in the black hole. We can pull this one out. Because there's a trampoline over to the left that I spotted. Only... No! We need to move the trampoline. It's misaligned. We'll need to move the trampoline one spot to the left. So before we pull out the spike block, push that entire row. And then get the spike and pull it over to the trampoline. And now we've got a handhold. Be careful, that's ice. Getting those coins right away would lead to me slipping. Tried to make a stairway down, but it wouldn't have worked anyway, even if I hadn't fallen. Instead, we're going to need to push that normal block. I got it. Now make a place we can step on to shimmy over to this area where we can Inazuma our way up. Have to be careful there. There's some spike blocks. It's not quite easy to get to the next section. Ooh. I must have been asleep on the job. One more shot. This is a little bit of an awkward way to do it, but it's going to work. Now 
now that we're out again, we need to hang like we did before and shimmy around to the left. And get up to the top. And finally, the checkpoint. This next section is quite puzzling. It's not immediately obviously obvious what you're meant to do, especially what with the darkness. Difficult to see ahead. You need to head up here and shimmy around to this trampoline and push it down. Now we can grab it and use it for our own devices. Our goal is actually the other trampoline on the left hand side. It can be quite tricky getting off a trampoline sometimes. I'm sure you've all experienced that particular pain. Oops! Now that was just careless. Now's not the time to be dead. Head up here and grab the first trampoline. Greedily go for the coins even though I don't need them. Head up here, watch out for the spikes and grab the second trampoline. Now we just need to get into a position we can use it from. And here we go. Watch out, that's ice. If you go straight for the pillow, you will die. Quite cruel though, it's nice that they gave you a pillow on the death trap. I suppose that's something. This first section here is quite simple, but there's another one just like it up above. Alright, I got it. And this was a massive problem. You could try and tackle it just like the last one, but there's not enough space. That's me out of space already and I can't pull out any more stairs. And this thing, this was an this was easily another 45 minutes of not knowing what the fuck. Attempting to collapse anything like that would just lead to tears. This entire thing was a mystery to me. Pause. I'll do you the benefit of not showing you 45 minutes of me trying to figure that out. <laughs> Once again, the problem was with my particular blind spot, going around the back. There you go. Easy as that. Boys, 
You're... You're Steve, aren't you? Huh? How do you know my name? Oh, uh, well... I'm Steve Doholm. I'm a dentist. I see. That voice. You're Vincent, aren't you? What a twist of fate. It looks like I'm cursed. You figured something out? I've been cursed by Catherine. How do you get a curse from that? Don't you get it? You're cursed too. It's revenge for betrayal. Revenge? The Catherine you're talking about is... Congratulations! You have completed the Spiral Corridor. 